Assalamualaikum dear students our today's topic for discussion is a lesson the letter a written by christy brown this is lesson number eight option our second 12th class english dear students in today's lesson we will discuss the questions of this lesson from question number seven onwards so now let us start Question number seven. Christie feels that not many mothers would have treated him the way his mother did. How would Christie have been treated in another household? Answer. Christie feels that not many mothers would have treated him the way his mother did. This is a fact. They would have treated him kindly and sympathetically but not seriously. This would have not struggled to the extent Christie's mother struggled to mould him. Many mothers would have treated him as a cure one in the back room who are never spoken of when of when there are visitors present in the household. So this is question number this was question number seven now question number eight of the text <coughs> that was a momentous decision what decision his mother take about bringing up bringing him up why did christy consider the decision a momentous one answer christy's mother decided to regard him on the same plan as the others plan it is plan p l a n e n e plan on the same plan as the others she so correct it she thought that it was his body which was crippled not his mind christie's mother decided to regard him on the same plan as the other she thought that it was his body which was crippled not mind therefore she decided to raise him like a normal child Christy considered her mother's decision a momentous one because it means it meant that his mother was always to be with his side to fight all the battles and were to come in this way and to inspire him with new strength when he was beaten. Eventually, the decision proved to be a significant one in Christy's life. The question number nine is. <coughs> Despite being surrounded by a loving family, what were Christie's feelings as he lay on his back in the kitchen or in the garden? Answer: Christie felt himself lonely and imprisoned in a world of his own. He could not communicate with others. He felt cut off from them as if a glass wall stood between his existence and theirs. He longed to run. He longed to run and play with the rest, but he was unable to break loose from his bondage. Question number ten. While his father was busy, while his father was busy brickling, his mother was patiently pulling down the wall, brick by brick. Which wall was the mother pulling down? Answer: The mother was pulling down the the mother was pulling down the barrier that separated Christie from the other children. She was slowly and patiently penetrating beyond the thick curtain that hung over his mind, separating from it from the ears. Separating from it from the ears. She believed that Christie was not an idiot but normal like other children. It was just his body which was crippled, not his mind. She worked hard to remove all the obstacles that come in the way of Christie's progress. Now, question number 11. They spoke of an institution. This text, this line is from the text, text of the book of this lesson. They, they now spoke of an institution. Question number first, who is they in the above lines? Answer, they refers to the relatives and friends of Christie. They contended that Christie was idiot and should be taken to an institution for the mentally challenge it now question number b of the same question part number b of the same question what is the institution they are speaking of they are speaking of the institution for mentally challenged 
Now part C, how did Christie's mother respond to their suggestion? Christie's mother fiercely rejected this suggestion. Christie's mother fiercely rejected their suggestion. She told them that Christie was not an idiot. It was his body that was shattered, not his mind, and she was sure of that. The question number 12 is, Christie's mother and father and siblings saw his his forming the letter E as, take the correct option, a sign of intelligence, a merely an imitative progressor. Here it, the answer of this is a sign of intelligence. Now question number 12. Why was Christy surprised to see himself holding a chalk stick, in, stick between his toes? Why was Christy surprised to see himself holding a chalk stick between his toes? Christy was surprised. Answer the, Christ, the answer of this question is Christy was surprised to see himself holding a chalk stick between his toes because he could not believe his eyes how he was able to grip the piece of chalk between the toes. He hardly knew how it go here how it got there he was also not knowing the what to do with with it next it was really an it was really an unbelievable achievement for him it was really an unbelievable not a it was really an unbelievable achievement for him question number 13 why was everyone tense in the room when they saw christy attempting to write why was everyone tense in the room <coughs> when they saw Christie attempting to write? Holding a piece answer, holding a piece of chalk between his toes and attempting to write surprised everyone in the room. Till then everyone except Christie's mother thought that he was an idiot and did not possess any intelligence. But when they witnessed Christie's holding a piece of chalk and trying to write, it was almost an impossible achievement for them. They were excited and tense simply because everyone now, everyone now wanted to see the outcome of Christie's struggle. Now question number 15, this is another last question, it, it, it might have been 14, so now it is, here it has been, it is uh, by mistake it has been written 15. Mm. What do you think finally helped Christie's, Christie achieve the impossible? What do you think finally helped the Christie achieve the impossible? Answer: Christie achieved the impossible simply because he was given the chance by his mother to express himself. His mother did not give up hope but struggled for him. She gave him all important help that that molded him right way. She did not give ear to the doctors, relatives and friends that her son was imb imbecile. She loved him and believed in him. She thought that Christy was not an idiot. She took Christy in her own hand and treated him in the same plan as others. To her it was his body that was crippled, not his mind. She removed all the obstacles that came in his way. She spent hours with him, showing pictures, telling him names of animals and flowers and gave, and gave him all care and love. Finally. Her faith reward her and her struggle changed it into trip. Thank you very much.